just want to make a quick video uh, in response to the one I seen from Charlie last night. Materials on site. I haven't been on a site in years where they cover anything up, apart from one which was in Chal Equons. Uh, the company was Value Construction, and it's Kev Eckert's uh, Britwork company. They're the only people I've seen cover anything up, and it wasn't the site team that covered it up, it was the bricky subby. Uh, they had everything with visqueen over, they got everything organised in there, and it was down, it basically was down to the subby, and he kept all his materials nice and dry. They're the only people I've seen cover everything anything up and i tell you what it must have saved them so much time and the work must have been so much better because of it now i'm only a two me and me and my laborer so we don't struggle that much with wet materials because what i do is whenever it's dry i'm making sure that we've got the next day in front of us loaded out so as, what i do is if any wet bricks are in the packs the wet bricks go to the bottom of the stacks, the dry ones go to the top, um, dot them out that way. No wet bricks get chucked away ever. I never, I, I've never chucked wet brick away. What I do is I save them to one side, like I say, or I put them in the bottom of the stacks. And when they're wet, I put a board over the top so they can air out. When they're dry, I put a bag over the top so they stay dry. It's two different ways of doing it. I'm gonna take some photos of, I've got three drops on the go at the minute. Yesterday when it was dry, when it dried up, I went up and made sure that there was extra brick out, enough for a day's work on a table, uh, on uh, some Pikes Peaks tables, whatever you want to call them. I made sure that I went up there, even though it's dry, I took time out of my lane time to go and get these brick out and put them on the top. Make sure you've got, on your wet days, make sure on your wet days that you're only doing block. On your dry days, stay away from the block work if you can and do whatever brick work you can. That's how I play it. And while it is dry, make sure all your blocks are loaded out and stacked and drying if you can. If you've got enough drops to get on. I'm not trying to tell anyone how to suck eggs. Everyone knows what they're doing. But this is what I do to try and get around this materials being wet saga. Also, if you know it's going to rain that night and you've got cover on your blocks, don't unwrap them. Just make sure they're not unwrapped. Or if they're wet, unwrap them and cover them let everything air that's the main thing when your bricks come up and and you know it's going to be wet the day after air your bricks take the take the take the plastic off when i first got to this job i'm on the bricks have been stored for that long they were absolutely soaked so i went round, got 10 packs cut all the plastics off and just covered the tops you've got to do it yourself no one else is going to do it for you but you want to make sure that them bricks are coming to you if you can't make sure the bricks are coming to you, then it's pointless doing it because you're not going to do it for everybody else. Um, but it is something to think about. Now, whether it's good planning or luck or space, the side I'm on, they haven't got a lot of space. Not There hasn't been a lot of lay down areas. So they've been ordering the bricks in on turnaround only just enough like for every week of work and blocks. So there isn't a massive stockpile. So when the sites have got a lot of laydown area, the problem tends to be that they get a lot of stock in and it sits there for a long time. And when new stock comes in, it's at the front. The folks take all the stuff from the front and the stuff at the back keeps getting left and left and left. So you'll be down to like, maybe there's 10, 20 packs that never get touched and they keep never getting touched. They need to be circulated. So really it's down to the site to have that circulation using from one side and then obviously using from another side, use it all up, all the way down the rows like that, instead of taking out the front and out the front and out the front, take down the rows and then replenish the rows as they come out. It's just, these are ideas that, you know, a lot of site managers aren't bricklayers. They're not even tradesmen, a lot of them now. And I don't think they quite understand the difficulties that you go through every single day for the materials. But you can mitigate the risk of the wet materials yourself. You can do things to help it. You don't have to go in every day dreading it, thinking, oh, God. I mean, this morning, is it's been absolutely tearing it down, rain all morning. Um, it's dry now, 
but I'm gonna show you pictures of literally I haven't touched anything so I've seen a new video yesterday Charlie and I'm gonna go up there and show you exactly what my drops look like now without touching them and then you can see how we mitigate the materials being wet but it is a joke it should be dry especially these people going for the pride and the job awards the dry storage areas are a must there is a site that will be changing to potentially um for the same company and everything but for a different house builder well same house builder but a different manager um they're going for pride and the job award and we'll see if they end up doing a dry storage area i think it has been mentioned it has been mentioned these things always get mentioned but putting it into practice um is another thing but like i say we've been lucky on this job because we keep getting fresh deliveries in and when the bricks come I know I got a pack of brick dropped on one of my drops last night that is going to be wet this morning. But like I say, I'll be up there this morning loading it out, put back wet bricks to the bottom, putting my boards on, ready for tomorrow and letting it dry out all day. Let's go and have a look. I know it ain't going to be to everyone's liking, but sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. And so I, when it rains, I do go and load out and cover everything up as it goes. <clears throat> and it might be worth, when you know all the materials are wet, just spend a day, if you've got enough in front of you, just spend a day loading everything out and covering everything up and letting stuff air. And then the, the following day, you'll be able to do twice as much. So, you know, and the, the job will look better. I'm not saying it's right what everyone's doing, but what I am saying is mitigate the risk yourselves, because that's all you can do. And uh, swallow it, because it ain't gonna change. Keep it nice and easy, everybody.